Hey guys, welcome back to another Joe Muller food review. Today we are headed down under and the Outback has a brand new item on its menu. It's called the Spicy Jam and Meatloaf that I'm going to try today exclusively for you. Up next, stay tuned. Alright guys, so today I went to my local Outback in Westbury and I am trying today their new spicy jam and meatloaf and let me just get it out of the bag here and here it is, spicy jamming. Let's check this out. Oh boy, I think what you need to do is, I think you need to add some of the spicy sauce here, guys. But anyway, let me take you guys in for the much deserved and detailed spicy jam and close-up. Alrighty, and here it is, guys, in all of its fine glory, brand new from the Outback. This is the spicy jam and meatloaf. And check that out. I got uh, a side of fries, Aussie fries. And I also got some of their mac and cheese, which I have not tried yet. And believe it or not, guys, this whole thing cost me $23.88. And that's in U.S. dollars. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'm going to give this a shot and tell you exactly what I think. All right, guys, so despite its appearance, this is smelling awfully nice. And I got the sauce here. And I guess this is the... I don't know what this is. Let me just try this here. Hmm. That is really, really good. You know what? I'm actually going to dump this on my meatloaf here. How does that look? And let me try this. This is probably the spicy jamming. Mmm. I probably screwed this up, but hey, without instructions, what are you gonna do? That is your definite jamming sauce there. Alright, let's see how we're gonna do this. I got my utensils. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going in here, guys. Brand new from the Outback. And here it is. There it's what there's what it's what it looks like inside. It is a pretty nice substantial piece. We just cut a little bit here. The one thing is, guys, honestly, they could have given me more french fries than just that. That's really not that much. And they're pretty wimpy too, actually. But they taste good. Wow! That meatloaf is freaking fantastic. It is really, really spicy, which is really good. It's living up to its name. I like the sweetness from this um, jam and sauce, which is really, really good. This all works. This is really good. Despite what it looks like, it is really, really tasty. Now, I would bet you any amount of money, if you ordered this in the restaurant, it would probably come looking a lot prettier because they would probably put the, um, the jam and sauce on it for you and all that kind of stuff, so you really wouldn't see the actual pieces of meatloaf naked. <laughs> All right. Mm. The meatloaf has really, really good flavor. Really good mouthfeel. There's a little bit of a kick to it, which I definitely love. Wow. This is really good. And honestly, guys... I am 
one of the biggest meatloaf snobs on the planet. And this is a knock it out of the park hit. Without a doubt. That's a hit, guys. And I paid um, $2.99 extra for the mac and cheese, which I've been really, really excited to try. And there is a little bit of this looks like a breadcrumb topping here. And a little bit of a cheese pull. Mmm. Mac and cheese on point. It is really, really awesome. Wow. You know, it's a little bit drier than I normally would sort of like, but the flavor is really fantastic. I do like this mac and cheese. It is a definite 10 plus, without a doubt. Mm. 10 plus on the mac and cheese. The meatloaf, although doesn't really look that great, it is a freaking knock it out of the park. Now, you know, you eat with your eyes, they say. And quite honestly, this does not look appealing when I first opened it up. But it is a really, really strong meatloaf contender. I definitely think this is a 10 plus knock it out of the park. I love it. I love the fact that you get that, that sweetness and you get that spiciness. And um, it's... It's just, it's just perfect. I love it. 10 plus Outback. You kick butt on this one. Really, really good. Mmm. And look at the size of the pieces that you get. It's a lot of food. And even though this was $23, I did leave a tip for everybody. You know, people are working so hard these days. I had the, the curbside sort of pickups, but so the girl came out and, you know, I gave her a couple of bucks, so that's the right thing to do. You know, some of these people work really, really hard and don't don't get the rewards that they actually deserve, so. Mm. In terms of the French fries, like I said, they are a little bit on the wimpy side, but the flavors are all there. They are absolutely fantastic, actually. And I'm thinking that even if they were crispy, I don't think that would really, really add much to the flavor. The flavors are just fantastic. Really, really good. Outback really outdid themselves on this one. This is a freaking awesome, awesome dinner. If you guys are definitely lucky enough to live near the Outback down under, definitely check them out. This cost me a total of, I think the total was like $18. I left some tip, but um, the jam and meatloaf is definitely a go-to item. I swear, it's really, really good. All right, guys, from the home studio in Hicksville, that is a complete down under wrap. Take care, God bless, so long. It's really good. I gotta get some more of the mac and cheese. I need mac and cheese. Mm. That is fantastic.